took a I took a walk by the river with a person that knew about the native weeds or the native plants we have around our area. And as she was telling us what kind of plants did what, uh, it was very interesting because she pointed at one of them and said, well, this one only blooms every seven years. Then when I came home, I could not pull that one. From the garden? No, from the garden or from but anywhere. Did you find it? Yes. And it's like, it's, I don't know if it's three years old or it's going to bloom next year. <laughs> I must leave it and see what happens. And then that plant is friends with the other plant, which is friends with the other plant. And then I was feeling really bad about trying to... Pull anything, really. Right? Kill anything. I don't li I like seeing things leave and bloom and grow. And I couldn't start picking and choosing who is going to live and who's not going to live. So the garden became more of as he wished to be. The only thing I try to keep out of it is the deer. Um, the deer came into the rose garden and ate the roses. They used to be tea roses and the deers ate them all the way to the bottom and now I have mostly native roses. They're just the ones that bloom once a year. This time the blooms are finished and this one is half and half and some of them are being what replacing. Half of the rootstock will bloom uh, a regular rose, which is the simple red petal rose, and the other half will be a tea rose. I so I will have red roses on one side and pink roses on the other side. Also, deer are not supposed to eat butterfly bushes, and we got two. We put them on the teepees because they were eating them, so I put a teepee on them. And this one is my compost and my deer feeding container. Every day we put these things here, the deers eat what they like, and then the rest becomes compost. And I have this cardboard because it's easier than putting the lid on and off, so the deer comes, eats whatever they want. I know they love watermelon rims, so huh. I put those at the bottom here. Okay. So they just come, they eat their rims, they look very cute because they're sticking out what they're chewing them and looking at me. <laughs> From the day going, that was good. Thank you. <laughs> look, it's a pomegranate. The cherry tree. Uh, we also have this adventure with the cherries, right? You never get any cherries because the birds get them. So this year I caged it. Now I outgrow the cage, but there's no more cherries on it. But it was good. We put the netting. The netting and I try to keep it short. Those will be trim, so it will stay short and more bushy. You have to cover the trees with a netting, netting every spring and yeah. uncover them every autumn. Yes. Or we can share all the cherries with the birds. I mean, that's not sharing. <laughs> we can share. They, don't, they are not sharing. Hey, last year they left us four and this year we had five. This is sharing. We just got a vulture over there. The telephone pole. We have a family of vultures. They have a nest nearby. I'm very grateful to them because they pick up stuff all the time that it will smell really bad if they didn't. <laughs>